Shalom. I start off first by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. Call all Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And greetings and salutation to you, brothers, that do this work in sincerity and in truth with fervency. Fire for this word. All right, this is a GMS a Boston City, the brother Shaquat. We got a Sin City quickie. I, I want to call it a quickie, and it may not be quick, so please uh, bear with me. But uh, basically, this is for the younger brothers coming in, so you understand what you're getting yourself into. That that this isn't just something that you come into this this knowledge, and then you 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 know, because it's not just knowledge. You come into this lifestyle built a, built around the knowledge and the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai, and it's not going to be easy. It's going to be very difficult. But that's a sign of how you know that things uh, that the Most High is dealing with you. The Spirit of the Most High is dealing with you. You know? But you must endure through all these things that are that are coming to you. And that's how you be you Lord willing make it as a man of the Lord. You know, so we're gonna start um start off with a scripture. Um, because a lot of you young brothers, man, that, that may be watching these videos, clicking on them and, and seeing and reading certain things. You got to understand that this is it's meant to be difficult. This ain't going to be fun. It ain't going to all be high fives. Some, some, sometimes you see us on the street teaching, and we got jokes, and we laughing, and, you know, having a good time. Yeah, because we got, we got real character. We got real personality. We, we have all the, the, uh, the, uh, the senses, so to speak, for lack of a better term, where we can tell a joke and still be serious. You know, we, we, we can be serious and cut somebody out seconds before and seconds later if they're going off. You know, and also stay in the, in, the, in the mind of edifying. And that's what this is for. So you fully understand what you're going into. For brothers, you know, y'all probably know these scriptures, no problem that's been in this. But for the brothers coming in that, that aren't quite sure what's going on, this is to, to help you identify what's going on with you. That you that you may be a man of the Lord. It says, uh, this is uh, Sirach Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 2, verse 1. My son... If thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Matter of fact, hold that. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 12. So it said, my son, right? And this is uh, Hebrews 12 and 6. No, no, no. Hebrews 12 and 5. Simple. See? And that, that's what keeps you from being simple like, like, like that dude. Anyway, it says, uh, Hebrews 12 and 5, And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not, it says, my son right here, despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. When you get corrected in the, in the, in the sharp chastening of the Lord, uh, that's part of, of being a son to the Heavenly Father. You know? It says, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If he receives you, he going to put you through the fire. He going to correct you. He going to whoop you. You know, he going he gonna, to he gonna, uh, uh, rebuke you. He going to do whatever it takes to get you in line and get you in order. Because we ain't coming out of, like, we ain't, ain't nobody stepped on the earth and was just automatically righteous. We've been tainted by this world, namely America. And so... With these worldly things that we're caught up in, he's going to have to beat those things out of you. He's going to have to make sure your spirit comes more forth and, 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 and pushes back your, your flesh. So you obey more of your spirit versus obeying your flesh. You know? So you so because your spirit is more in line to, to tap into his spirit. Moving on, it says, if you endure chastening, the most high deal with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if you be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then ye are bastards and not sons. Because if to be a man of the Lord, you have to go through this chastening. Whether that's being homeless, losing a job, losing a girlfriend, losing your family members from around you, losing all your friends, not liking the type of person you are. As a testimony of myself, I lost uh, my, my knee, so to speak. I used to love to play basketball and run around and be athletic. But when I came into this, the Most High took my knee from me. Where I can't, I can't be as as physically 
as I was. But that made that forced me to sit my ass down in front of the computer, learn this word, and to humble myself in front of my Bible and within my Bible, so I can get this word in me, so I, I would have no distractions uh, uh, to get this word, so I can go out there and put this word out. And so, so you know, I, I could say I was hard headed because I was still trying to play in a men's league and do all that put that before this word and, and he took it from me so that's what i get that's what he, that's what my path was your path may be similar but uh don't don't deny when when you come to him you don't have a choice just like jonah you don't have a choice you got to deal with it if this is for you if not hey man count that cost and know that it ain't for you and back to the um to the main script which was uh Sirach 2, it says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, if you come to serve the Lord, if you think about it, you got to count that cost if you come to serve the Lord, because it says, prepare thy soul for temptation, because temptation is going to come, and whether you have enough to finish that, 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 this job of serving the Lord, when your house shot comes, that, it comes with that, you got to know that, it says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And the word endure, as brothers have been bringing out time after time from the apostle, was it means to make hard. You know, when you make yourself hard, you're not as emotionally susceptible to things. You're not as physically susceptible to things. Something may happen to you. You don't think it, you know, you know, like, oh, that's no big deal. I can deal with that. I didn't dealt with it before. Or I didn't seen it dealt with. Or I didn't heard about how to deal with it. And that's why you have apostles and elders and, and the, the other brothers that are, that are above you within your camps. You know, because they, they've been through this fiery trial and everything else in this, uh, what's the, the phrase in this, in this temptation before you have to, 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 to lend that information onto you, that knowledge and that experience unto you. It says, um, set thy heart aright. I mean, get your mind right. You know, the brother's uh, page says, get your mind right. You know, so, so you know what you're getting yourself into. So you prepare yourself fully. Okay, I'm going to have to whatever. And see, what I've done personally and what brothers I notice do is whatever the Lord have me to do, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to humble to that and I'm going to do it. You know, whatever he see, if he, if he tells me to, well, just go fast for, for 48 hours, then I'm going to fast for 48 hours. If that feels like what his spirit's telling me. If he tells you to, to just study, 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 you know, whatever, whatever he tells you, whatever he puts in front of you to deal with, you got to learn, you got to know and learn how to deal with it. And, and, and don't be all, ah, I don't want to. No, that's, that's being a mind that, that goes two ways. Double-minded. No, you, you got to, you should you count that cost. That no matter whatever he put in front of you, like I was saying about taking my knee, he took my knee. So, hey, fuck it. I got to deal with it. I got back at issues. Okay, I got to deal with it. Yeah, I got to stand on concrete all damn day when we go out and teach. But so what? I got to deal with it. And the same for you. When you're coming in, you're gonna to have to deal with all types of things. You know, homeless is is, is homelessness and the doubt of, of having somewhere to live is usually one that that comes with this. You know, to prove if if you're gonna give up that comfortability to for the Lord, if you're gonna if you're gonna miss a meal or two for the Lord, we gotta fast anyway. Moving on, it says uh. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Don't hurry, try to hurry up and get out of trouble all the time. You know, don't don't just try to try to get out of trouble when, when things happen unto you. Just sit there and deal with it. And when it gets seen through, you it gets seen through. You know, when, when he delivers you out of that, he delivers you out of it. And if he dealing with you, you ain't always gonna stand hot water. When your character and your and your and your your spirit is, is dealt with enough, he he knows when that is. He'll shut it off for you, and, and and put you in a better position. But when the time is right, you know. But you gotta have your mind right already, knowing that hey, if this goes on like this forever, like with my knee, I I believe that's gonna go on like this forever. So oh well, I gotta deal with it. As long as we out there teaching, I'm gonna be out there teaching. Bum knee, crutch, whatever pirate leg whatever moving on it says uh cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end that he'll increase you and give you more responsibility and give you more uh wisdom knowledge and understanding and more um, more things to help you further push his spirit out there 
the spirit of Yahweh Shimei on Shai out there. That's what the increase will be. Don't be looking for increasing money. Don't be looking for increasing in women or whatever else, you know, in physical might. Those things aren't, aren't what's going to profit you unless they're profiting the spirit of Yahweh Shimei on Shai. And it says, uh, verse 4, it says, whatever, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. So whatever he puts you through, take that as a, as a positive thing, as a cheerful thing. It is a positive thing because that's how you know that the Spirit is dealing with you. Because if you go and look at all your friends, your homeboys in the world that ain't into this, what do you what do you see? Them, oh yeah, I got to get this money so I can buy this. They always about feeling good and partying in a cheerful spirit. About, about bullshit though. You know, and if they fall into anything similar at all to what you fall into, being into this word, they, oh man, and they always trying to make haste to get out of it. Man, I gotta, and this woman cheating on me, man, I gotta, I gotta hurry up and get another one. I gotta do, hurry up and do this. I gotta, you know, I gotta get some money so she, she come back to me. Whatever you simple ass niggas do, man, I don't know what simple niggas do no more. I don't. I don't. You know, so whatever, whatever the, the, the two thirds do, I don't know. But this is for the elect, which are the, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans scattered across the four corners of the earth. And the two-thirds are those same said people that aren't going to make it. That, that, that was not chosen. And moving on, it says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. And be patient when you get changed to a low estate. Because in this truth, you're going to get changed to a lower state. Know that. You're going to have to take the low. This is all about taking the low. You're going to have to take the low every day. Just know that. To another brother, so he can, so his spirit can come out and it can grow. So the word can come out. To, to, to Esau until the, until the shit goes down. Then, but you, you'll find little spots to where you can... Where you can overcome certain little things you little battles that you can win but as far as that you just take them as they come man the most high throw you a bone here and there take those when he throw you that bone and he open up that opportunity for you and the, to know those does come with experience you know so that comes with time but but as far as uh just thinking you gonna i'm gonna raise up and just take esau down no yeah forget about all that I'm going I'm to slack my bitch up around it like that. Nah, and just the most high will throw you a bone when those times will come. But other than that, you're going to take the low. So just prepare and get your mind right to take the low. And be patient and endure all of that. And be hardened against all those things that come upon you. Moving on, it says, um, matter of fact, this is James chapter 1 verse 2. It says, my brethren, count it all joy when thou fall into diverse temptations, similar to the last scripture. Count it all joy when thou fall into diverse temptations. Because it's going to be not just one thing, it's going to be a multitude of things that's going to come across you. It's going to seem like the, the, uh, the, the, the hole that you're in is going to keep getting deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper. And it's going to it's be nearly insurmountable to come out of it. But guess what? Keep trekking, keep shoveling, keep... Keep moving, keep studying, keep going hard for this truth. The Most High will see you through it. Keep your faith and keep your uh, keep your mind right about it. That hey, well, whatever. I know I've got a big sand mountain that I can't quite get up, but I'm gonna just keep my head down and keep working, keep working, and you, the Most High, will get you out of it. And then when He gets you to the next level, there there may be a, a moment, not really any rest, but there will be a, a, a little bit of relief. He might throw you a bone right that moment, but. For some brothers, man, to give the story at the heart, you might get that bone and then and then fall off. So don't let that be you. Set your mind right to the end of this race. That once you get to the next level, that this ain't the end of the race. The race, well, it ain't over until we get salvation. Understand that. Until we're worthy of salvation and we actually get it, till we're on the chariots, till we're walking into the kingdom. That's when we have salvation. That's when it's over. To that to that level. And even then, it ain't over. Because this is how you must live forever. Forever. Like they say in the movies, like, like Andre Thiton, forever, ever, forever, ever. This is, my, this, this is the lifestyle that you will lead and, and greater in righteousness. Is what you should set your mind ahead for. So it says, my brethren, count it all joy 
when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that trying of your faith worketh patience. Because these trials and temptations and diverse temptations that you come across, it worketh your patience. You know? And, and patience means to endure. So it worketh your patience because it, it ain't patience if you're going through something good. It's patience if you're going through something bad, so to speak. So it works your patience to see how much you can deal with. You're going to deal constantly and constantly deal with it. Deal, deal, deal. Damn, this is tough. But I what? My heart is right. I'm going to keep comfort in these scriptures. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep my mind right. And I'm going to just keep going. And then you're going to learn after time and the experience of that. You're going to keep, keep going and going and going. It's going to continue to build up your faith. And it says, knowing this, that you're, the trying of your faith worketh patience. So to try your faith, I mean, it's like boot camp in any army, right? You got to go through those things to see if you're even made for this. Before I put you out on this battlefield, I got to make sure that put you on this uh, boot camp to make sure that you're ready for this. And that's what this is. This is spiritual boot camp to see how far you're going to go and what you're willing to give up and do for the spirit of your high body, Shema Hashem, and righteousness. Reading on, it says, verse 4, but let patience have her perfect work. Meaning, be completely patient. No matter how long it takes, be completely patient and just deal with it. And just continue to do what you got to do. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of two-thirds and niggas, I'm going to say it like that, uh, uh, will, 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 will tap dance for this white man at their job all day to get that check, to buy some bullshit, to do some fuckery. But, but some of you don't want to Endure for the Lord. Well, you got to. If this is for you, that's what this is about. Enduring for the Lord. You know, you put up with, oh, man, I got to go out in this hot sun and, and shovel shit or, or, or build railroads or whatever the fuck terrible dig ditches or whatever your job is. You know, you got to do that. You do it for that check. Do it for this spiritual money, for this spiritual penny. Read right on, it says, uh, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. That you are complete. That you that you that you don't lack anything as far as spiritually, because you're gonna lack physically and worldly. You're gonna lack. Know that you're gonna lack physically and worldly. Niggas is gonna be hitting the club, got bitches and drank and and blowing and and, and this is gonna look like a perf excuse me like a perfect world. For the two thirds, and you gonna and you gonna just can't you can't get a woman. You don't know what to say to that bitch. You know you know you none of that's gonna work. You know because that's not that's not we're not a part of that world no more. The old man must die before when you count the cost. The old man must die before you are fully immersed in this word. You have to completely put him off, and that's part of getting your mind right. Completely put that old man off, and know that this spiritual man is the one that's that needs to walk from here on out. That's the only one that's gonna get you to that salvation. If that's what your, if that's what your desires in life really are about. If you're not, see you after the missiles. Um, it says uh, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. You know, only thing that we should be desiring is wisdom. Like, like the example of King Solomon, he desired wisdom. He didn't just desire uh more riches or 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 more power more wives he didn't desire those things he desired more wisdom which taught him how to get more riches more more women more uh more power you know and he did it for the right reasons that's what it was that that's what this is about desire the things that are going to profit your spirit and profit and more so profit the spirit of yahweh bashim yahweh you know, and, and and put you completely in the low and in the background. You know, it's not about it's not about uh, uh, shooting these videos to have your face all yeah, my face is all in it. No, it ain't about that. It's about falling back. And if, and if I could do the video some other way, showing you something a more wonderful scenery, I, I would just do that and just talk to the camera. But it's about putting the spirit of your high body shimmy outside out there. You know.